archaeologists in Iraq discovered two temples erected on top of one another. The newer Hellenistic temple was built in the 4th century BC and may have been associated with Alexander the Great, a bond brick with an Aramaic and Greek inscription that refers the giver of two brothers, a probable allusion to the Macedonian ruler who conquered most of the known world during his 13-year reign from 336 BC to 323 BC. The ancient temple was discovered by archaeologists from the British Museum in London while excavating at Gursu, a Sumerian city now known as Talu in southern Iraq. The excavations are part of Gursu project, a museum-led initiative aimed at learning more about the city's illustrious history. The older Sumeria temple was discovered buried on the exact same spot as the newer construction which was dedicated to the Greek god Hercules and his Sumerian equivalent, the hero god Ningirsu. This excavation leads archaeologists and curators of ancient Mesopotamia at the British Museum. The fact that a temple was built on the same spot where one existed 1500 years before was no accident. According to the experts, and the site must have carried some significance to the Mesopotamian people. It shows that the inhabitants of Babylonia in the 4th century BCE had vast knowledge of their history. The legacy of the Sumerians was still very vibrant. Archaeologists have unearthed a silver coin buried beneath an altar or shrine as well as a wall with the two brothers' inscription. While excavating the twin temple site, the inscription is very interesting because it mentions an enigmatic Babylonian name written in Greek and Aramaic. Because of its arcane tone and symbolic connotations, the name Adad Nadinahi, which means Adad, the giver of brothers, was clearly chosen as a ceremonial title. The writing itself is a reference to Zeus, the Greek sky deity who is frequently represented by a lightning bolt and an eagle. Both of these symbols may be discovered on the currency which was made in Babylon under Alexander the Great's authority. It shows Hercules in a youthful and clean-shaven portrait the strongly recalls representation of Alexander on one side with Zeus on the other. Zeus, on the other hand, famously acknowledged Alexander as his son through the agency of the Amun Oracle. He became quite literally the giver of brothers because he formed a fraternal bond between Alexander and Heracles. In addition to the artifacts, researchers also find offerings normally given after a battle, including clay, figurines of soldiers. The recovered figurines, which are originated in a range of places in the Hellenistic world, must in many instances have been carried to the temple by visitors. Among these are the Macedonian riders on horseback, which have strong association with Alexander. However, they could also be associated with a cult of warlike heroism. When combined with the obvious Alexandrian presence in the shrine, this raises the intriguing possibility that Alexander was directly and actively involved in the temple's reestablishment.